Hello everyone, welcome to hashtag Friday Sews. My name's Carol, this is my channel called So Carol and thank you for joining me today on my favourite video of the week, hashtag Friday Sews. It was created by Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room and it just enables all us sewing YouTubers to be in one place, easy to find on YouTube every week. Don't forget to filter to upload date and then you can see all the latest ones. I love jumping on board on a Friday and just seeing who's out there, what they've been sewing and what they've been doing in their lives. I just, I just love it. I enjoy it every week. Hope you do too. <laughs> I've dug another top out of my wardrobe, an oldie but goodie today, but there is a reason, which I'll explain later, but it's New Look 6895 and you see, there with the little short cap sleeves, it's got like a binding neck and the arms are, oh no, I just turned them under on a narrow hem. Um, I was always on the fence about this fabric because it was a really light, uh, cheap viscose, but actually it's, it's quite interesting, so no, I do like it. Um, quick, nice little pattern to use and it's just a really nice shape with a little bit of gathering there. No back, oh yeah it has, it has got a back fastening. <laughs> Should have done my homework before I did this. Um, yeah, it's got a little split which I always just put a false button on because with this wider neck you don't need an opening at the back really. In fact maybe next time I'll take the opening out of the back and see how that goes. Makes it quicker. I'm going to put a quick little video in now of where I am and how it's working for me at the moment but I've got a long way to go in first of all thinking what I want from the room and also then finding the right stuff to go in it. Things are definitely in a pickle right now in this sewing room. The double bed has gone as you can see the marks in the carpet and this is my table at the moment. It's a camping table and it is very low with only my small cutting board on it. Main problem is all those, all those there patterns. I've got nowhere to put them for the time being and it's driving me crazy already and it's only a couple of days in. I think there's over a thousand patterns there. On the other side of the wall, I have temporarily, I've moved my embroidery machine over there with some storage underneath and this is a table that I stole out of the garden room at the bottom which is meant to be my husband's work table. But I moved the machine there, obviously got my uh, one of my mannequins in the corner. I have thrown these on the wall, um, they're too high, they're completely the wrong place but I just, because there were picture hooks there already, I just strung them up. So I bought this to see if I could put some patterns in there, but I can't, but that's really good because that's all my storage. The little piles that used to be in various places on my bed are now put in there. What it has done, removing those threads meant that now it's much clearer behind my other two machines. So I've now got a blank wall and it just make, feels so much calmer, that side of the room. So there we go. <laughs> Two funny things that happened this week, not necessarily happened, but I observed this week. One of them, I was on the telephone and I don't know, like a lot of you do, I doodle. Normally I tend to doodle flowers actually, um, but I had a window en envelope in front of me and then I suddenly realized what I was doing. I was actually top stitching in my head around the opening of this and then around that bit there. I just thought that was so funny where I automatically thought, oh yeah, I also need to need to accentuate this and I top stitch round it. The other thing was, for the first time I think in my life, I've actually heard some patterns mentioned in a TV programme. I was watching the um, Marvellous Mrs Maisel. Now I love that programme and I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but what you have to admire is the costumes are fantastic. It's of that wonderful era, 50s, 60s, where the women dress beautifully in the clothing. We just long to dress like that now, don't we? Anyway, there was just a scene where the lady was talking about, she was um, they were running out of money and they were looking at some curtains and thinking, yeah, I need to take those down. And then she said, hmm, I must order some butterick patterns. 
I just thought that was hilarious. I have never heard that on television before. I thought, yeah, this is why I like this programme. <laughs> now, I have made a couple of things this week. Um, I made the pyjamas that I wanted to do and I cracked a plique. So I was very, oh yeah, I mean, it was a simple thing I did, but I, I was very happy. I was using the t-shirt from McCall's 7515. Warning, warning, it's quite a cropped t-shirt. So it's a little shorter than I may have wanted. You can't really tell on her. And you think I'm short, so. And I used the uh, pyjama bottoms, crop pyjama bottoms. I didn't curve the hem. What's the point? <laughs> What's the point in, in struggling with a curved hem? So I just did it flat. So I'll show you the pyjama bottoms first. It was this lovely Rose and Hubble cotton. Oh, it's so lovely. Um, I did put pockets in. I don't quite know why, because actually they stick out on me, but... And you can't put a tissue in there, because when you fall asleep, you just end up lying on a lumpy bit on your, on your leg. But I was really pleased with them. I hadn't made this pattern for a long time, and the size it was already cut for was maybe I should have gone up a size, but they're okay. They're fine. Um, so little normal hem, and um, just chucked a bit of ribbon in to make it look interesting but the top bit the t-shirt so I made it in this white jersey fabric but I did an applique heart on the front and I am so thrilled with it um, it was much simpler to do than I thought and I actually I just obviously used a little bit of the fabric to make it matching and yeah I'm really pleased with it as you can see um, used um, the cutaway on the back which I haven't cut it away actually I only cut around the outside um, and I used my um, applique scissors my new duck build scissors to go around it so I was really impressed that I managed to crack applique I then went on to make some pajamas for my daughter obviously as you know I've made loads of uh, Simplicity 9337 I haven't got the pattern with me but I'll look that one up I made loads for her in the winter and I made some for myself she said I need some more can you make them short versions so that's actually what I did I got this beautiful jersey and yet again I am jealous of it it's a cotton jersey it's my favorite color and just look how pretty that is um, she hasn't even seen them yet so you're the first to see so obviously you've just got the basic quite big t-shirt quite oversized t-shirt and the shorts now I put the pocket on and they were meant to have I think I'll show you down below but um, like a curved hem and when I started them because it's um like a man and a woman's pattern it, it just looked too manly so I cropped them off I just leveled them up made them shorter and cropped them off and I think that will be a lot better for her the reason we both love these pyjamas is because of this lovely wide jersey waist. Now, I don't know if I, I... Some of you will probably be shocked. Some of you will find it hilarious. And I don't know if I even want to admit this. But what I used for the elastic... Now, I was obviously been tidying out my sewing room and the sewing room used to be my daughter's bedroom and they used to come and stay a lot because they lived away. I don't know if you uh, have this anywhere in the, in the world but when she was pregnant and every now and again you have to be monitored, um, she had yeah, difficult pregnancies and she had to go and be monitored quite a lot and they have these belts that they strap a monitor to your, I can't remember the technical name of it, I'm sure somebody out there will know, but you have these belts. For some reason, when I was clearing out the sewing room, I came across two of these belts. They are just elastic, but they're really soft elastic. It's got the clips where you would have clipped it. I was going to throw them away, and then I thought, hang on, that's elastic, we can use that. So, I haven't told her yet, and I'm probably not going to tell her actually, but because it was so lovely and wide and so lovely and soft, I actually used it in the waistband. And it's done an amazing job, and it's so soft and so lovely. 
I have got a bit more of that as well. I don't know how she kept them or why she kept them, but yeah, I've used it. So I'm very happy about that. I, I don't know whether to tell her, but if she sees this video, she'll know, but we'll soon find out if she watches my videos. So yeah, really happy with those pajamas. So it's a kind of a sleep week this week, two pairs of pajamas. Of course, we've got the uh, five Fab Five collab video coming out next week. And we've been, well, I've been busy making for that. And I know the others have as well. Now we love doing these because we get given a theme. It, we take it in turns to choose the theme. Then we go out and buy the fabric and then we make something. And none of us discuss the fabric or um, you know what type of fabric we bought in the end or what we're making so with the big reveal look out on Tuesday because I think we're doing it then so I have been busy making a few things for that for next week talking about fun little projects I made a little muslin comforter now I made a couple for the boys when they were tiny and I wanted and what I'm doing is I'm getting a basket together of things that I've made and also it's like a baby shower basket things that I've made obviously nappies and things that you might need and I needed a kind of toy to go in there so I made this lovely little comforter now I didn't use a pattern I just researched online as I did before for the others um, so it's made out of muslin, it's got a binding around the edge and I always make the binding really long so I can tie the corners and the floppy bunny head and I put that sort of dimple fabric, dimple minky fabric in the ears because it's just it's so soft to touch isn't it and babies like that don't they doing that so now I will put a picture in but Obviously, I didn't have an embroidery machine when I made the boys them, um, but I have now, so hence this bunny has a much more attractive face than the others. So I did have fun practicing that and kind of placing it and then making the head and singing it on. It should have been a little bit bigger. I cut out the square a little bit bigger, but I did a very silly thing was when I then needed some fabric for the head, I cut in to the square that I'd already cut for the main part rather than the scraps. And honestly, I was so cross with myself because I thought there's no way I can have a join along the middle. So I'm afraid this is a little smaller than it needs to be, but actually it's quite a nice little size. So, it's so cute. I have a very busy couple of weeks, well, sort of three, four weeks coming up. Next week um, is my birthday. We've got a sun coming at the weekend, so that's going to be all busy. Um, and then next Friday, we're actually going away for a week to a Centre Parks village. Um, lots in the UK will know it, so maybe Europe will know Centre Parks, but it's like an activity village. We're all going as a big family for the weekend because it's a bank holiday and then my daughter and I are staying on with the boys for the rest of the week. So it's not going to be a holiday. It's full on. Swimming every day with the boys is going to be exhausting. But what it brings me to is I need a kind of another pair of comfy trousers. Um, doing lots of walking i've got one pair of joggers left now in fact they were hudson pants that i made a few years ago um, but i really could do with another and i did find a bit of gray jersey now i actually bought this i think to make my son a t-shirt but i'm going to grab it actually because i'm going to probably make some uh, quick joggers the quickest jogger pattern i can find that i have and make some for that week. Following on from that, I think I'm only home a week and then we, uh, my husband and I are going away to the Blairics for a week. Um, we're going to stay in Mallorca, um, North Mallorca, which we absolutely love. So hopefully get a bit of warm weather, but it has led me to just have a tiny bit of a gap for kind of evening wear because um, I, I don't go out much so I haven't got much for evening and there aren't many holidays that I do where I need to be dressed up in the evening but I 
got this Beyond the Pink Door fabric. I think it was back in the winter actually. Beautiful viscose. So at long last I'm going to try and use that. And I have an idea and I hope it works. What I'm going to do is, now I have made these before, cropped trousers, which does actually look like a skirt. I don't get on well with long skirts, but um, you can see it's got a really quite a high waistband um, and it's sort of got pleats around there. Now I have made this, I made this last year. So, and it's got a tie. So I might make the trousers in this. And if I have enough left, I'm going to make this in this because if I wore the two together it could look like a faux jumpsuit sort of thing and and also then I got the flexibility to wear this top with you know a pair of white pair of trousers or something and a white top with this so hoping I'm gonna have time to do a couple of those things um, with this beautiful soft viscose I've been naughty again. I had to go to Hobbycraft the other day, which is uh, a smaller, much smaller version of Hobby Lobby. Um, but I went to Hobbycraft because I was looking for some cake icing. But no, I have to look at the fabric and I saw a bit of... It's not denim, it's not chambray, it's between the two. But I'm sorry, it was daisies. It's and I walked past it and I came back and I picked it up and I know I don't need any more, but it makes such a lovely kind of pair of trousers. <laughs> I'm hoping to get these made up before my trip away. I'm gonna use one of three patterns. Oh, I did have the pajama pattern. <laughs> I'm going to use one of these. This one I have used so many times and I recommend it for anybody that is scared of making trousers. So I do version E, you've got no fastenings, it's slight flat front waistband and then it's elastic all the way around with the pockets that you sew over the top. Really simple, really quick. So I'm either gonna use that one or this one and I know it doesn't look anything nice on the pattern cover, it looks really strange but actually that pants pattern is really, really good. Um, both quick makes, that has got inserted side pockets, but I'd really like, because this with like a nice white t-shirt, it's gonna be amazing. So those are things I really, really hope I have time to do. So I think you're caught up on what I've been up to this week. I did put out a video on Monday because it was my first year anniversary and I know so many of you um, commented, put the most comments I've ever had on a video and I was absolutely thrilled. In that video I mentioned that I had a stack of patterns that I wanted to give away and what I will do now is I'm going to put all the names in a hat and get my husband to draw out the winner from that. So we have all the names in a bowl for everybody that commented. Um, even if they didn't say that they wanted the patterns, I put everybody's name in a bowl and Chris now is going to draw a name out without dropping them everywhere. Drum roll, please. <laughs> You're the drummer. I know, but I haven't got anything here. If I've got one or two there, I can't see. Uh, two, that's it, one, okay. So who have you got? And the winner is Naomi R. Excellent. So congratulations, Naomi. I will put my email address in the description box. And if you want to just email me uh, with your address and I will send the patterns to you. If you didn't want to receive them, just let me know and we'll do another draw. But thank you, congratulations. What a Naomi. Commiserations to everybody else. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me again this week and thank you to anyone that chats with me. I just love your company. Thank you for spending time out of your day to watch me. The photos I shall leave you at the end was from a wonderful weekend we had. The weather was sunny, ugh, the sun was shining, it was a nice kind of slightly warm temperature. My husband and I on Saturday popped down to the beach for a couple of hours certainly not going in the sea but watching the sea and the boats so we did that in the saturday evening we live near to a country park which we can actually cycle to 
into the back of um, we quite often do that after say dinner and take a flask of tea obviously and um, so we cycle in the back and there was nobody there and it was just beautiful and then on Sunday we went to a gardens, Exbury Gardens, which is in Hampshire. Now it's a place I love to go to once a year, especially at this time of year, because the flowers are beautiful. So I'm going to bore you with uh, flower photos. Now I'm no gardener, passionate gardener, but I love colour like the rest of us. So I will leave you with those photos. Thank you again and I will see you very soon. Watch out for next week for the collab video. Bye for now. Thank you.